We're here today at Rockingham to demonstrate to you the difference between new, worn and budget tyres. But rather than us tell you, we've invited some special guests. I'm Tim, Shmi150. I'm a YouTuber and I make videos of all sorts of things to do with cars. My name is Sally and I'm a blogger at Who's the Mummy. Today I'm expecting to see firsthand how the new tyres will be able to stop in a substantially smaller distance than worn tyres. I'm not so sure where the budget tyres will sit in that spectrum, so hopefully not crash into my McLaren. I think that today I'm expecting to be a tiny bit terrified, but I'm just expecting really to hopefully see what the impact of different kind of tyres is on the driving experience and how that feels. It was kind of like the difference between scary, terrifying and absolutely terrifying. When you're in the car that has the worn tyres, the amount that you travel is much bigger and the skid was much bigger. We went out first with the new tyres, braking from 50 miles per hour and we were able to stop short you move much less and you're able to regain control of the car much more quickly. As expected, the budget tyres would have sailed straight through and unfortunately done quite a lot of damage. I mean, the budget ones weren't um, as scary as driving on the worn tyres, but it's easier to see the difference when you've driven with new tyres. Then we tested again finally with the worn tyres, so right down, still legal, and unfortunately, as expected, that would have been quite an expensive repair bill. What we've found over the last few years is that a lot of drivers are now using tyres that are particularly worn. In this time of austerity, what we want to make sure is that people understand that buying budget tyres or using their tyres longer means that it could result in a collision. It's also important to have the correct pressure on your tyres. You'd be surprised at how many people don't either don't know their tyre pressures or inflate to the wrong one. Just demonstrates quite how important it is at exactly the same speed in identical cars seeing the differences right there first hand. When you're a family you're always looking for ways to save money and make the most of what you've got. It's not worth cutting the cost on, on tyres and not buying new or not replacing them when they need it because you've got the most precious cargo in the world in the back of the car. As a race instructor I know that tyres are probably the most important part of a race car. Why it is that drivers on the roads don't appreciate how important they are as well, I honestly don't know and it's frustrating. 